Hello all you boys and girls, it's Michael here from Slow Cooker Recipes, yes! And for the very, very first episode, we are going to make some stewed pears. Yes, stewed pears. It's a Dutch uh, recipe and a well, pretty delightful recipe. And we start with some Wildeman pears. It's a hard, really hard uh, pear. After that, we are going to use some as pure as possible apple juice. Added to that is some red sugar which also adds to the color as you can see and after that we will be inserting some cinnamon into the whole mix of goodness so let's start with uh, shaving the pears or peeling the pears we're not shaving the pears but then again it could be we could shave some pears just take off the whole skin As you can see right here, I'm actually doing a pretty damn good job peeling the pears. There you go. Remove the skin. Peeling the skin. What is it? Is it skin in English? I suppose so. Yeah. So when you're done with that, and now you can see the toughness of this pear, or how hard it is, the structure of the pear. You really need to saw through the pear. Wildeman pears are uh, made for cooking and they really are pretty tasteless when you try to eat one like normal pears. So cut them in four halves. halves. This is the easiest way to uh, slow cook them in a good way and a decent way. Remove the uh, seed houses or what do you call them? The, the seed bits. Well, the middle parts. I'm really good at uh, different style talking, but I've never tried to uh, talk about the inner pieces of fruit, as I have never done a cooking channel before. Now, this is the first video of the cooking channel, and we are off to a blazing start with some stewed pears. Now, normally in restaurants, you will be getting them served like this. Just whole with the stick still in it. And a pretty nice red color. But of course we don't do that. So we just take out the slow cooker. I use a really big old Russell and Hobbs slow cooker with two insides. With two parts of the insides. Normally you would want use one for stew and the other one for creating a soup. We just use it for three whole kilos of pears. Normally a um, side dish or a dessert would be around one kilo of pears. So this means one kilo, one liter of apple juice, two big tablespoons like these for one kilo. So I'm going to insert six big tablespoons of red sugar which not only sweetens the whole uh, the whole stew but it also colors the whole stew and in this case it will be a golden brown in case of the apple juice which you yeah that we're trying to go for that color which we obviously failed because when you want to reach that color you need to have some oh here's the cinnamon you need to have some uh, wine included in it and when I'm not a wine drinker, so I'm going to use 100% pure apple juice. Like I said, use one liter for one kilo. Now we are going to use three kilos. Turn on your slow cooker and put it on low for eight hours. Normally it should be more than enough for just one to two kilos. Since we used three, Afterwards, I did put one hour extra, so it's nine hours in total for this whole dish of three kilos. Oh, look at that. Steaming goodness. Now, with all the lights on, you can see the awesome color of this dish. And when I'm putting it on the plates and checking it out, 
please do remember to subscribe, like, share the video if you really would like some more of these easy recipes. And look how that knife cuts through it like butter. See, now it has a, it's, look, it's even squashable. That gives me another idea for another video. So let's go start with that. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon. Subscribe, share, like, and welcome to the next video.